Hello everyone. In continuation with the series in calculus of variations, we'll be uh, dealing with the shortest distance pro problem today. Now, what is shortest distance problem? Find the shortest smooth plane curve joining two distinct points P x1 comma y1 and Q x2 comma y2. Now, if you observe, this is the curve which suppose so that means what this is the point p this is the point q right uh, let me just change the color it's looking the same color here yeah okay so this is the point p over here this is the point q and this x1 y1 x2 y2 these are the points now if you'll observe here this two points can have many many more curves which are passing through these two points right so there are so many curves we can't even tell infinitely many curves we could find out from this two points but we have to find out the, the condition is the shortest distance i want to have passing through these two points okay now let us consider on the, on any any random curve i'm just uh, uh, just for a sake of understanding purpose this is a one part one small part of the curve i have considered in such a way and i'm uh, forming just by putting the perpendiculars here i'm putting a this triangle over here so if you observe this is a right angle triangle here this is a right angle triangle here. so what that right angle triangle will give me da square is equals to dx square plus dy square as usual the pythagorean theorem and this will give me ds is equals to square root of one plus dy upon dx the square dx so this is like this we have got it here that means what total arc length of this will give me integration from p to q, ds integration from x1 to x2 because i am dealing here with the x distance so therefore it is square root of square root of 1 plus dy upon dx square okay now minimizing the arc that means we have extreme this that this is what is our problem now this is becomes our functional and this is the function here so minimize it the question has become minimizing the arc length of the function y so this is what is the functional we have got it here minimize i of y is equals to integral x1 to x2 square root of 1 plus dy by dx the square dx right now what is my function function here function that is a function of x y and y dash is square root of 1 plus y dash square so this is 1 plus this dy by dx has been replaced as y dash so it is y dash square right so it's this way it is y dash square now what other observations i could have i could say that yes there is a y absent here because it's square root of 1 plus y dash square so this dou of upon dou y becomes zero if it is so, then dou f upon dou y dash will give me the value. So I have to just differentiate this with respect to y dash. That will give me y dash upon square root of 1 plus y dash square. This is what is the Lagrange's equation or Euler Lagrange's equation, Euler Lagrange's equation, whatever the name you want to see. So it's been here. Uh, this is this equation. This equation becomes here d upon dx dou f upon dou y dash is equals to 0. This will give me y dash upon square root of 1 plus y dash square is equals to constant because it's the derivative of this function is 0. That means what? That function is equals to constant. Now, if this is equals to constant, so that means what? This square root of 1 plus y dash square will go to the other side with C. So, y dash square. So, I'm making a square of both the sides. So, it's y dash square is C square 1 plus y dash square. So, uh, after simplification it's y dash square minus c square y dash square is equals to c square so this will just come to the other side and this will get combined and it will give me y dash square right is equals to c square upon 1 plus c square but what is this this is nothing but y dash is equals to square root of c square upon root uh, that is square root of c square upon square uh, 1 minus c square let us say for that is my m so what will happen it here? It's nothing but a constant, right? It's nothing but a constant. And if I will integrate y dash is equals to m, I'm going to get y is equals to mx plus b. b is a constant of integration. So but what is this mx plus b is what? This is nothing but the line passing through two points where this these are the points y x1, y1, 
which is y1 is equals to mx1 plus b then if for this particular point i have y2 is equals to mx2 mx2 plus b and therefore my m becomes here y1 minus y2 upon x1 minus x2 which is a slope of the curve or the line and m is equals to y1 minus y this b is equals to y1 minus y1 minus y2 upon x1 minus x2 into x1 is simple as that so this is what i could find out my b i could find out my m so from this y y equals to m m is nothing but this quantity over here this is what is m given to us and this b we could find it out using this initial or the points p and q we could find out that b is also equals to this so just by putting the value suppose i wanted to have the point to 1 comma 1 and 2 comma 2 on something like that so i could just have to put the values of y1 x1 x2 y2 and i'm going to get my equation of curve thus the curve having minimum arc length passing through the given two fixed points is nothing but a straight line is nothing but a straight line so we have just proved it right now here that passing through a curve which is a smooth and which is a of a shortest distance is the line passing through the two points we are aware of this fact but we have proved this using the calculus of variations i hope you have understood this thank you happy learning